In this clip, we're going to go over uh, hooking up the pre-connected low-level strainer. So the driver is going to, uh, this would be a dump tank operation, so you have to envision a dump tank setting over here in this area. The driver is going to come to the compartment uh, on engine 141, the low level is kept in the back. You can see that that uh, strainer has the fitting already pre-connected. That's because in a dump tank situation, uh, there could be pressure or some urgency to get that on. You got to remove a couple things on one for one to get it out, a saw and so forth on one for two. Remember that that strainer is kept in the back compartment and it's pre-connected as well. So the better practice over here is to hook up the side of your inlet first. In other words, hook up your suction inlet. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about the strainer being uh, turned on an angle when you put it on. So he puts it on, feeds it in. Try to get that handle up on top, and he goes down on top, a little bit on the bottom, and he's set. Now he's going to come back to the low level. Low level is not as picky. He's going to get that in position. Again, a one-person operation. Two would make it faster, or maybe not make it faster. Two would help a little bit. And really, he's set up. Uh, the last thing you're going to do is take that rope away from it so that it doesn't get sucked up during operation. Uh, that's just a better practice. So again, you have to envision a dump tank setting here. Uh, or, you know, if you were drafting at a boat ramp or a rocky bottom stream or something like that, that would be the way to make that operate. So the low-level strainer is pre-connected to make it quick. It is the only strainer that is pre-connected uh, with a, an adapter on it. If for some reason you were to give that strainer to somebody else at a fire scene, uh, you'd have to probably take your adapter off or they could take their adapter off.